hundreds, if not thousands of people are lacing up their shoes right now, getting ready for the 2023 First Coast Heart Walk. The festival area opened just a few minutes ago, and that's where we find on your sides Atia Collins. They're live right now. Good morning, Atia. Are there any road closures that we should know about for this race? Good morning, Rich. Yes, this three mile walk will take participants down West Bay Street and West Forsyth. So those streets are closed to traffic, but I'm told over 20,000 people have signed up for this event. And that not only includes participants, but some survivors. And you can see behind me the survivors tent. I had the chance to talk with two heart plant recipients who tell me that they are here with one simple message. Take your heart health seriously. They're educating those around them about improving their diet and exercise to help to help their heart health. Now today's event is not just about education, it's also about fundraising. I have with me Jackie Easterling. She is the VP of Development. Jackie, go ahead and take a step with me this way. We talk a little bit about the fundraising and about how this helps initiatives across the country and here on our first coast. Yes, yeah, so the American Heart Association is second only to the US government in funding research. Um, around heart disease and stroke. And so um, that is where the dollars go on the national scale. Here locally, we have all kinds of initi initiatives that we are um, pushing forward through our support of our sponsors to break those barriers to access to health care and also nutrition security. Um, tobacco and vaping is a big initiative as our, of ours as well that we bring into our um, schools and um, and so there's so much that we're doing here on the First Coast as well, not just um, nationally with the dollars that are raised. Yes, and we've heard a lot. I've heard from survivors about the Mayo Clinic, how important that is, not only when they're going through their journey, but afterwards for that, that sense of community. And that's what we see here today, that sense of community. Lots of people here getting ready for that event, kicking off at 9 a.m. So make sure you stick with us here on First Coast News. Reporting at Tia Collins, First Coast News on your side.